Hey, what's up? Chips here, and welcome back to another build tutorial. Today, I am going to be showing you how to build your own trampoline park. So, as you can see here, this is a cool modern trampoline park here. Thought it would be cool to use a purple and grey and white colour scheme, which I think looks pretty nice. And if we go inside here, it's pretty spacious. There's loads of room in here. We've got loads of cool little trampolines there. And of course, my favourite bit, when you come up here, all the way up here, and then jump into the foam pit. Here are all the materials that you will need. The dimensions of this build is 62 this way and 52 this way. So first up, we're just going to get the basic foundations of this build done. So... I've got some great concrete here and from this block I'm going to place one and then I'm going to build across 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it should be 11 long. Then I'm just going to go one out either end here and then another one out and then I'm just going to build this all the way across to join up here. And then next up with some purple concrete on this block here I'm going to go across three one two three and then we're going to leave a gap of three and then with my grain concrete again going to place three of them just here and then again i'm going to go across ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then just going around and joining this up just like that so i'm just going to repeat this process to the end here so again with some purple concrete i'm going to go across three Leave another gap of three. And then again, building across 11 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just until we meet up at the end here. And then once its main front bit is done with some more grey concrete, going back to the start here, I'm going to place one just here and then I'm going to go all the way around this whole perimeter to join up over there. So I'm just going to join this up. So I'm going to go all the way up here, just along the guide, just like this. Then all the way across. And then come in back down and then next up with some more grey concrete again starting from this point I'm gonna go up by 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 just like this and then just next to this pillar that I built I'm gonna just go across two and then up just till we reach the top here and then I'm just going to do the exact same on this side as well. And then I'm just going to do this for the rest of these three sections over here. And then next up, with some purple concrete, with all of these three purple walls that we built earlier on, I'm just going to build these all the way up to the top. And then once all those walls are built up, moving back to this section here, with some purple concrete in this hollow section, just going to fill this all the way in and then I'm going to build up this wall all the way to the top so just going to build that all the way up just until we reach the top here and then I'm just going to repeat that process with the other three walls. So once all these walls are built up, we're going to start the pattern here. So come into the first one with some grey concrete. 
Starting on this block, I'm just going to build this all the way up. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then once that's done, I'm going to leave a block here. I'm going to leave one gap. And then I'm just going to go all the way up to the top. I'm going to leave another gap. Go up again. And then leave a final gap. And go up once more. So going row by row here. So on the first row, I'm going to go up two. Place a block. Up another two. Place a block. And then up one finally. And then place two blocks on top. Then on this next column, we just want to make it look like this pattern is sh being shifted up. So I'm going to place a block there. Leave a gap of two. Place another one. Gap of two. Place one. And then finally one more on top. And then we're just going to repeat this pattern again. So again, on this side, I'm going to go up by two. Place one. Up by two, place one, up by two, place two. And then again, place one here, gap of two, place one, gap of two, and etc. Just so we get a cool little pattern like this. So I'm going to repeat this concept just on the other three as well. So feel free to just rewatch this part of the video to do this on the other three. There we are. And then once you've got all these patterns, going behind the wall here. There we are. We're just going to fill in all these hollow areas with the grey concrete. So just fitting that in all the way to the top. Once these are all been filled in, we're just going to do the main wall here. So, going along this whole perimeter all the way to this point here, I'm just going to build up the entire wall. So, just going to fill in this whole wall going all the way around. And there we are. So the whole wall, as you can see, has been filled in. And then before I get on with anything else, with some smooth stone, I'm just going to go around the whole perimeter with it, just to neaten this off a bit. This bit's optional. This is just what I'd do if I was going to add it to some sort of city or something. And now for the windows here. So I'm just going to fill these in. So I'm going to dig a free hole just there. And I'm just going to place three light grey concrete. And place the sides as well. And I'm just going to place three anvils. So I'm just going to do that for every window here. And then I'm just going to fill in the gaps with my grey stained glass panes here. And just on this third window here, for the entrance, I'm just going to go up by three and then place the gas pane and then build it up from there. So next up for all these cool little swift patterns here. So on this first window, I've got some white wall here. At the top, I'm just going to destroy one block here. And I'm just going to place some white wall going out by two. And then bringing that across by two as well. And I'm going to the left hand side here on this row here. I'm just going to destroy one. And then I'm going to place three blocks. And then make them go out again. And then I'm going to come down by one. And, I'm going, to and then I'm going to come down by two. Then I'm going to place one there. And I'm going to go across. Destroy that block. And then one out again. And then going down again, leaving the gap, I'm going to place one there, destroy that block as well, and then come out 
by one as well. And then moving on to the middle window here. So again, with my white wall, gonna destroy that, place one, go across two, so it should be three along, and then just extending it by one out. And then on this block here, gonna destroy that one, and then go across by four, so one, two, three, four, and then extend that one out. Down by one, leaving a gap of one, and then on that block, place another one, and then go across another four. Just break that block as well, and then extend it out. And then just down another two blocks, destroy that one, go out by another one, and then bring it out as well. Just like that. And then finally, for the last window here, I'm going to place, I'm going to break this block, go across three, and extend that one out. Let's go to the other side, two blocks down. So I'm going to break this block, and I'm going to place three, and extend that one out. Going down by two again. And then on this point, placing a block, going across, destroying this one, and then bringing it out by one. And then down two again, and then destroying that block, placing two, and then two out again. So that gives you a cool little pattern on the outside here. So next up for the letters on the front. So I've got some quartz slabs here. So starting from this block here on the first one, I'm just going to place three quartz slabs just like this then we're going to go down three blocks then I'm just going to place one on the left hand side here and moving across to the second one I'm going to place one slab just here and going down another three blocks across two and then up just like that then moving on to the third one here I'm going to place a slab just here Going up three blocks. I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. Then we place one either side of the top block, one underneath, and then one just here, and then finally one just under for an M. And then finally, we have another slab. We're going to place one here. We're going to go down three blocks again. And then from the top, I'm going to go across two. Then I'm going to go down by three. One, two, three. And I'm just going to build across to join that up. So that gives us the name of the trampoline park. And moving to the back wall over here with some purple concrete. I'm going to build this all the way up. And then this is just going to go all the way across. So all the way across this wall. And then I'm just going to build this whole wall up just to cover the back of the grey wall here. And then once this whole wall has been built up, I'm going to do the exact same but with some grey concrete. So again, just over this wall with some grey concrete, I'm just going to build this all the way up until we reach the end. And if any of you guys wanted the challenge of building this in survival, Probably not a good idea to waste all these blocks because you don't see many of these. So the plan is to have a pattern on this back wall, similar to the front. But obviously you probably won't need to use all of these blocks because a lot of them you're not going to see. You probably only need them just to fill in these gaps. So if you want to save resources, I highly recommend doing that. So moving to the back here, starting from this third block, I'm just going to just go all the way down just to this point here. Then I'm just gonna leave a gap of one and then again down. So I'm just gonna repeat this until we're two blocks away from the wall, but on that end. And then when we get to the end here, instead of leaving it one, I think I'm just gonna leave it three, just like that. And then on this back wall, we're just gonna repeat the exact same pattern that we've done on the front here. So with the gray concrete, the place one, leave a gap of two, place one, gap of two, place one, and then final one on top. And then we're just going to shift these down. So I'm going to place two there, gap of two, place one, gap of two, place one. And then I'm just going to repeat this exact pattern all the way across. There we are. 
And then moving on to the flooring inside. So in this bottom left corner here, with some light grey concrete, with some light grey concrete, I'm just going to go across 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then from this point, I'm just going to go all the way to the top. So all the way to the end wall here. And then just along. And then I'm just going to fill in this entire area with the light grey concrete. And there's no need to fill in this bit of the floor because that's where all the trampolines are going to be. So you ain't going to see this. So next up with some white wall here, I'm just going to go into this corner. I'm just going to place this one just here. And then just building one in from the main wall here. I'm just going to go all the way around this whole building with the wall. So just keeping it one in as I'm building all the way around. And then once that's done, we're going to create a V-shaped roof. So, starting on this end here. So, I'm going to go up by 2, 1, 2. And then I'm going to go across by 11. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I'm just going to build this wall up. And then, from this point here, I'm going to go across 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. After that, I'm just going to leave a gap of 12 here. And then I'm just going to mirror what I've done on that side. So again, I'm just going to go across by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it should be 12 in total. And then up by 2. And then just building to the end. There we are. And then I'm just going to mirror what I've done on that side on this side as well. So again on this point, I'm going to go up by 2 and then across by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just going to build that up. And then again across by 12. Leaving a gap of 12 again. And then facing the block here, again, another 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And on this block, we're going to build up by 2. And then just build this up all the way along to the end here. And then with these two opposite walls, just going to build these up so they're free high in total. And then just to top off this roof here, so where's on grey concrete? I'm just going to build this all the way across in this little gap here and then extend it out by one. And then I'm just going to build some more grey concrete on the top of this, extend by one. And then on the end it, I'm going to build it on the top of this, but then do it one more out here and then just extend that out just here. So I'm just going to do that on the other side. So again, with my grey concrete, go all the way across here, and then one out. And then again, all the way across here, but going one out just there. And then building it just there. And then with my grey concrete, I'm just going to 
go all the way across on the top of this white wall to the end it and then just building it one out and then just going to do the same on the other side it And then I'm just going to replicate what I've done on that side here as well. So again, I'm just going to build all the way across to this point and then build out. And then again, build on top of this wall here and then build out. And build on top here and then build out. we meet there we are so that's the main outer edge of our roof done and then once that's done we've just got to fill in this entire roof so with some grey concrete I'm just going to join this end up with the end over there and then once that's done it I'm just going to repeat that process for the other four sections of the roof. That's what the roof should look like when it's all filled in here. So next up, moving on to the inside. So firstly, just along this back wall here where all the white walls show in, with some grey concrete, I'm just gonna build three up. And then I'm just going to cover all of this white wall just to up in the end here with all of this concrete. Just so it becomes the same thickness as the wall below pretty much. And then once that whole wall was covered up, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but on the other side here. So again, just building it up so it's level with the wall underneath. Next up, we're just going to do these side walls. So as you can see, we've got some kind of strips of white either side of these walls. That's just a part of the roof. What we're going to do with some more white wall, we're just going to carry this down all the way to the bottom. So we're just going to Build this all the way down to the floor. And then I'm just going to build this all the way up until we reach the top there. So once you've done that, the whole wall should be white like that. So I'm just going to do exactly what I've done on that side, on this side as well. So next up, I've just got some white concrete here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to coat the whole of this roof with all of the white concrete. So just under it, I'm just going to place all this white concrete under each section of the roof. So I'm just going to do this strip by strip until we get to the end. So once I've reached that end, I'm just going to do the exact same on the next bit of the roof. So again, just going all the way across to the end. Once you've done that, as you can see, the room is a little bit lighter now. So that is the exterior of the trampoline park complete. And then in part two, I'll be showing you how to make the interior as well. Once part two is published, I'll put a link in the description so you can watch that one as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two. Have a good day.